Lower the flaps to eight degrees. What's up, and guys? To Today we're doing the uh, Caribbean UMB landing mission. I will be talking over the uh, co-pilot just because there isn't the much time to actually speak in between them, in between the them speaking. So uh, yeah, this is the Caribbean landing mission. We're runway. flying the Bombardier CRJ700. Uh, both my favourite mission and favourite aircraft on this Flight Simulator 10. It's uh, included in the Will Flight Simulator 10 demo, which is Juliana quite fun. On um, I'm just going to reduce going to our speed to 180 five, world travel and double tap F7 to Juliana put our flaps to 8 degrees. That's what she tells us what we're talking about. Juliana approach. Expect vectors for the visual runway Niner. Altimeter 29992. Ah, there's Altimeter. Yeah, Altimeter set 2992. World travel 268. Turn right, heading 130. Descend and maintain 3000. Vectors for the visual. Right to 130 and down to 3. World travel 268. Okay, turn right to 130 degrees and descend to 3000 feet. Don't exceed 250 knots. Alright, so we're using the autopilot here because it just makes things a lot easier. Um, this is quite a nice scenic video, I would think, because uh, the last one there was World pretty much nothing to see. Reduce speed to one eight zero knots. Slowing to one eight zero. World travel two sixty eight. Okay, slow to one hundred and eighty knots. All right, we're told to reduce speed to uh, one eight zero knots. Um, we do have our autopilot set to that. Um, as soon as we reach 3,000 feet and level off, we should automatically um, reduce our speed to 180. As I was saying, this um, this mission is available on the Flight Simulator 10 demo. It is quite fun. I can remember first getting the demo. Um, probably messed up maybe three times before I realized how to use the autopilot system then crashed about ten times eleventh time actually hit the runway but crashed because we were going too fast um, or vertical speed was too much uh, broke the landing gear and crashed and that was with the realism setting set to easy we do have the realism settings set to hard the uh, maximum difficulty for this simulator I just like to fly that way because I do aspire to be a uh, airline uh, a traffic pilot. Basically, if you're going to fly on easy and think this is easy, you're just going to get bored. So uh, I have absolutely everything enabled as far as difficulty and realism goes. We do have the, uh, uh, I forgot what it's called, uh, basically it's, it uh, simulates uh, gyro forces that means when we're lining up instead of going a bit linear we do actually get thrown around left and right um, like a gyroscope would it just makes things a lot more realistic a lot more difficult too it's um, you don't have to do this there's nothing wrong with it I did have it set to easy World travel 268 to start with turn left heading 100 report the runway in sight left to 100 world travel 268 all right. All right. We're Make a left turn to a heading of one zero zero. To head one zero zero. We are heading up to, well, getting down to three thousand feet. We should level off. If you just view here, zoom in. Yeah, we can see the runway there. It's just this little concrete strip there. Or tarmac, whatever. Um, this vector won't line us up. So um, what we'll do is, um, on our glass cockpit here, this pink diamond at the base is showing us that we're slightly too right of the um, nav 1 heading. Our nav 1 is tuned to the runway or close enough. I will activate that. I am uh, not touching the joystick and I haven't touched the joystick um, so far. So it's possible to get quite far through this mission without actually needing a joystick. You can use the mouse or your keyboard to um, fly the landing but it's a lot more difficult because uh, as you press up on your keypad you will pitch down and as you pitch down you will just carry on pitching down which is a big problem because on the joystick if you push forward and then let go it will automatically 
city back here. Whereas if I push forward on the World keypad, it sets us here, it doesn't set us back, and there's no way to perfectly align us back to So it's a bit of a pain. World Travel 268, contact Juliana Tower now on 118.7. Going to tower, thanks. Sorry I have to talk Juliana over the uh, air traffic World control, with it's you on just, the visual. there's not much time to actually speak in this mission, it's quite a quick one, Juliana it's quite fun. Wind 121 at 12, runway 9 are clear to land. Traffic is a Grumman Goose on final landing Simpson Bay south of the runway. Clear to land and we have the traffic, World Travel 268. Alright, we're cleared for the visual approach. Reduce thrust to idle and begin descending towards the runway. Lower the landing gear and lower full flaps as we slow down. Adjust thrust to maintain 130 knots as our final approach speed. Alright, so I've uh, set the flaps to 45 degrees. Um, when we reach that 45 degrees, which looks soon, our autopilot should have... Uh, should have... Oh, what's it called again? Should have set our pitch level. Um, We'll just fly a bit more until we deactivate our autopilots. Um, I'm going to reduce our speed to 0, 030 zero on the autopilot. And also, we'll start to make a descent. I will leave the nav heading um, enabled for now. We will have to deactivate, actually, yeah, pretty soon we'll have to deactivate that just because uh, when it comes close to the runway we're not actually lined up. Before landing checklist, landing gear, down. Uh, gear down. Flaps set to 45 degrees. And flaps Before landing set checklist, to 45 complete. degrees. Alright, so as you can see we are lined up with the VOR, with this, uh, just on that Flight attendant, instrument please be down seated there. For landing. We can see this green line lined up. Um, it's not lined up with the runway fully so we'll be deactivating that soon. Check out gun, uh, landing gear. Yeah, we are. Um, you see that poppy, the four white lights next to the runway. That's indicating that we're too high. We're looking to get two white and two red, which means we're on a good glide slope. We are going to uh, deactivate systems now. We're going to maintain we're a little our speed. Fast. Maintain 130 knots on final okay, I'm going to activate the spoilers just to slow us down a bit. We are going too fast. So, um, too low now. I'm going to have to pull up and get the poppy to 2 white, 2 red, uh, it's currently 1 white, 1 red, ok, we're there, now it's just maintaining that. We're at the right speed now, we just need to get lined up with the runway, this is quite difficult, uh, I like to keep it that way. <laughs> we do have to fly fully manual, we cannot use an instrument landing system because uh, Juliana International does not have an instrument landing system. So we are fully manual using the joystick. Right now I'm going to deactivate absolutely everything. We are now absolutely manual, including speed. Um, we are... When we reach the threshold, which is soon, uh, we're about lined up here. We're going to set our thrust to idle now. And we're going to do a slight flare, you see that we're now too high, so a slight flare and when we touch down, nose gear heavy, down, so brakes, spoilers and, and reverse thrust and hold. Orbit 326 heavy. just give you a view of that World Travel 268, welcome to St. Martin, turn left next taxiway alright, so coming to a stop we'll lift the spoilers and the um, the flaps and we'll turn into this taxiway here. Our reverse thrust is disabled and we're just putting on a little bit of forward thrust just to get into this taxiway. Once we do that'll be mission successful. Orbit three Success! Heavy, wind one two one at All right two, so I'm just gonna park off. here and I think we'll Clear end on watching Orbit this uh, other aircraft take off. It's quite nice but uh, again this is on the Flight Simulator 10 demo. I would recommend getting it and trying it. It is a bit awkward, but then again, it is free to download. And also, you get a feel for if you're able to run this game. I don't have... Well, I'm running this on um, not a very powerful PC at the minute. 
so uh, it doesn't take much for graphics but it is always nice just to check it didn't run on a laptop I own but uh, quite a high angle of attack to take off there just to make sure you clear the mountains but thanks for watching my video it's uh, been quite fun and I think I'll make a few more of these videos it's been quite a nice scenic video compared to the last one where you couldn't see anything and again thanks for watching my video